Hello everybody, my name is Ash. Welcome back to Mass Effect. Uh, let's go to our journal, see what we got left. Okay, we've got a mission that we could turn in over at the Asari place. But I think it's time we do another main quest. Which one shall we do? Well, we haven't done much com conversing other than with our own shipmates. There is also the option of doing, a, doing one of the DLCs. I think, uh, you know what? I'm going to do Bring Down the Sky. Because uh, it just makes sense. Asgard, look at that. Terra Nova. Terra Nova is one of. Since all these are actually uh, next to a, a major colony, I'm gonna doubt everything is uh, here to be fucking. Oh, whatever. Asteroid X57 is an asteroid located in the river land. DLC and it's another fucking planet, but hey, it's I, I actually like this uh, DLC for as simple and small as it is. It's a uh, it's a lot of fun. Body of G. Mendel. I don't know badly beaten before being killed with a pistol shot to the back of the head at close range. It's likely he surrendered only to be executed by sadistic captors. Survey three final January. Central transmission tower is on a fritz again. No one has ever listened to my warnings about a single point of failure. Surprise the surface. Our service comes work half as well as they do. When such. Hmm. Alright, so a map. Now, if, if I remember correctly, what I usually do for this DLC is I usually do a lap around the map. Like that, because there are a lot of locations. <laughs> a lot of locations. Hey, it's Technician's Kit. Savan, oh, that's an Omni tool though, bastard. We need a Savant, uh, we need a Savant, uh, biotic amp because god damn, look at that. Mm. That's good shit. That's nothing to scoff at that.
Oh, damn. I hate fucking yeah. Of course. How pissed off would you be if you hated this shit? And you paid for it, and then you... It's like, bam. Here's a shitty uh, mountain. Here's another map that you have to traverse the mountains of. Would kind of piss you off, wouldn't it? The scotch on his victim's hard suit suggests he was exposed to a burning interior of its vehicle only to be gunned down by his assailants. Nexus, yeah, but Nexus is nowhere near as good as the fucking Savant. The Savant was a lucky drop. Best thing is it has, it has high cooldown on powers and medigel. Oh, that reminds me, let's, uh, let's level up. Advanced throw and keep working our way to master dampening. Obviously, we want to do half of these missions, but. I'll do the exclamation point areas, but I want to do the, uh, discoverable areas first before we do anything. shit about any of this stuff. Survey to station financial aid. Surveyor. Chief Surveyor Montoya. Communications are down and there are non-corporate dropships landing near the main facility. There were flashes of light over the horizon. I can't be certain but I'd guess heavy arms fire. As per emergency protocol, I'm arming the defences drones. I'm not waiting for my pickup. I'm going to investigate. the uh, power screens and there was a lot I mean a lot oh dear. really really quick cooldown on on uh, Tally's abilities there it looks like he died from a single shot from the helmet likely from a sniper whoever killed him didn't bother to search his body there's still equi equipment packed in his service pack Polaris. So they're all using tech stuff, not biotech stuff, which is kind of annoying, but it is what it is. If you're an engineer, it's good to come here, like, uh, you know, late level, I guess. I say late level, I mean, like, you know, well, I'm level 30, I came across a Savant, uh, Savant Omni tool, but. 
We look at all the other. Oh shit, what's all this stuff? Nice. I call. Uh. All this stuff, you know, the Pol the Polaris is good, the Nexus is good, you know, and obviously the Cirrus Council is something you want as well. Yeah, if we get a Savant Omni tool, we've got. You're well, I mean, in the wrong direction. You've got to get to those torches. Yeah, we go to them later. Go to that one, that was like the main base of operations for the villains of this DLC. But no, what, uh, what I was going to say was... You know, I've already got Chain Barrier, which is, you know, already amazing. But the fact that I'll... But with Savan, I can get a Chain Singularity, like... I mean, I don't need to explain why a Chain Singularity is good, do I? Pulis's cargo manifest of containers outside. It's mostly interesting in excavation equipment and parts of prefabrication work shacks. A footnote catches your eye. Explosives move to grid reference 32 4 16. Oh, no. Location up north. Obviously, I can't hold that many grenades, but hey, you can refuel grenade. You can replenish grenades here. Big fucking deal. Okay, I know there's like two more locations around here that we need to get to so we're gonna go and do them
Imperial is filled with operation logs and personal journals for a small pirate music station operated by X-57's engineers. This includes scripts for promotional message, none of which appear to be been recorded. radio station if we're close by. Oh well. Fuck knows why you would get, you know, elevator music as your uh, radio station music, but, actually I can't even, I can't even say but because there is no buts. You, you, you set up a radio station and then play, sh play shit music. The body has severe burns and shows signs of major concussion trauma. Mercifully, the explosion would have killed her instantaneously. This is Dr. Hines. They found me, damn Batarians. I can hear them out there prowling around, trying to find a way in. It sounds like they're attaching something to the door. If I don't make it, tell my family I love them. out here. Oh well. Okay, finally we have the transmission tower, which we haven't even been to yet. Was it? Yeah. So yeah, I usually, whenever I do this DLC, I usually do all the, like, discover all the locations first so I can, uh, get one of the side quests out of the way just to confirm the death of like certain people kind of daft I know but Achievement. I think that might be for killing the synthetics. I went through what achievements I had. I do have Dog of War, which is kill 150 organics, but the synthetic one is killing 250, I guess, because there's more synthetics in this game. I don't know. I think it's kind of daft because there isn't more. There isn't like. More. Like. If you, depends if you, if you play the main game, I guess you do it and th that'd be it. Like, I guess there is technically more. But uh, if you're play, playing for the complete completionist achievement, um, you're probably going to find more organics than uh, synthetics. Now, funny enough, the thing that is, what this does is it actually shows points of interest, even though we've already gone to all of them. So, 
Well, yeah. So let's just get on with it. Let's get on with the uh, this mission. X fifty seven. Bring down the sky. Shit time. Batarians. Rock! Check! Check! Take them out! Military. I've lost shields! Release the Varen! much for so much for that fucking hell, I got sabotaged that's why I can't shoot god damn it Guardian, Let's see if uh, this is worth our trouble. Nope, it isn't. It's got two mod slots, but damn, I need that bit to protect, protect. You know what? If I'm gonna get sabotaged anyway, oh wait, no, that, that's that's still in the red. Fucking hell. Disable torch. What if we can't do the puzzle? We're gonna do then. Reading that the torch is offline. Was that you? Can you hear me? Who are you? What's going on? My name's Kate Bowman. I'm an engineer. I was part of the team assigned to bring this asteroid to Terra Nova. We were attacked yesterday by Batarian extremists. I've been hiding since they arrived. I think they know the torch went out. Why are they doing this? I don't know. But if this asteroid isn't slowed, millions of people on Terra Nova are going to die. If I find out anything, I'll... I've got to go. Good luck. Alright, let's fucking go.
god. I didn't mean to... Are you hurt? You can't go firing your weapon at everything that moves. What the hell's wrong with you? Sorry. I thought you were one of them. Here's a tip. Two eyes, human. Four eyes, Batarian. Yeah, okay. I'll remember that. I know you're scared, but I'm here to help. Commander Shepard, with the Alliance. Simon. Simon Atwell. I'm the chief engineer on this rock. Listen, we don't have much time. The Batarians fired up the fusion torches. You've got to shut them down before we hit Terra Nova. There are four million people down there, Shepard. I... My family. They live in Aronis. My kids and grandkids. Nice community. It's good schools. I don't have time to do the math in my head. What happens if we don't stop this rock? X-57 is 22 kilometers long, twice the size of the asteroid that wiped out the Earth's dinosaurs. It would be like millions of fusion bombs striking at once. Millions. The heat of the blast. A thousand kilometers away, clothes will ignite. There'll be global wildfires. Air shock will flatten everything for hundreds of kilometers. Terra Nova will die, Shepard. Not just our colony. The planet. There'll be a climate shift, mass extinctions. The ecosystem won't recover for thousands of years. Millions, maybe. Is there any chance it'll land in the oceans? That would be even worse. Tsunamis would sweep inland at hundreds of kilometers per hour. Millions of tons of water would be vaporized at the point of impact. Global cloud coverage. The plants could all die, and if they go, the whole ecosystem rolls over. I'd have to run the numbers, but take my word for it. It'd be bad. I guess Batarians are as bad as they say. I've heard all the stories. Slave rings ranching people like animals. Pirate bands burning colonies to the ground. But this is... The Citadel Conventions forbid asteroid drops. I never thought the Batarians would go this far. The Conventions only apply to Council-aligned races. The Batarian government is a rogue state. The Batarians aren't stupid. If they made a policy of this, the Council would declare war on them. My opinion? These guys aren't backed by their government. They've got to be working on their own. If the Batarians can't keep their own crazies in line, we'll do it for them. I just don't want the Terra Firma party using a threat to my home as an excuse to invade somebody else's. You were on the ground when this happened. How many Batarians have you seen? And where? They landed at the main facility. It's locked down now. They've changed the passcodes. No idea what's going on inside. I did see groups head out to each of the torch stations. Couldn't say how many, though. Enough to give you a fight. Any idea who's behind this? Who's leading them? That might provide a clue. I heard a couple of them talking. They mentioned a Balak. It sounded like he's the one in charge. They didn't seem convinced this was a good idea, but they were scared of the guy. Scared enough to do what he wanted. Batarians everywhere, and I need to shut down all three torches. Anything else I should know? One of the torches is surrounded by live blasting caps. We were set up to excavate when we arrived at Terra Nova. I rigged them with proximity detectors. That tank of yours will set them off, so you'll have to go in on foot. Even then, they'll explode if you get too close. Just go slow and easy. You should be fine. Should I requisition a cow to walk through ahead of me? Look, you can disable them. Just not remotely. I didn't have the equipment to set it up differently. There are manual controls by the entrance to the torch facility inside the blast zone. You can disarm the caps there. One last thing. I had a crew working off-site when the attack hit. I'm worried about them. These Batarians are ruthless. I saw them smash the faceplates of guys working vacuum. And those Varen. I don't think they always wait for a corpse before feeding. Any idea where I can find them? They were running checks on our perimeter equipment. Easiest thing would be to tap into the transmission tower out on the surface. The equipment stations will show up on your sensors. Four and a half million people are gonna die in a few hours. Don't make me trot out some tired platitude about the needs of many versus few. But if you see them while... No. You're right. Focus on the torches. Sorry. There were a bunch of engineers over at the main facility, but they're probably all dead. That or being held hostage by the Batarians. A woman named Kate Bowman contacted me. The Batarians haven't found her yet. Katie's alive? She's one of my best engineers. She signed on with her brother, Aaron, I, I think his name is. He's part of the security detail. I hope they're okay. Give me a worst case scenario. We can't stop the asteroid. Could the colony be evacuated? Evac? 
Shepard, it took 30 years for the population to grow that large. I'm sure they're moving people to remote areas, but they'd never be able to get more than a few thousand off-world. We just don't have enough ships. No one does. Well, maybe the Quarians, but I don't see them suddenly showing up and offering us a ride. Why were you moving this thing in the first place? Well, the idea was to drag it into Terra Nova's orbit, mine it out, and in the end you'd have a basic structure for an orbital station. It's a lot cheaper than getting everything up into orbit from the planet's surface. The minerals we extract almost cover the costs. What can you tell me about Kate? Smart as a whip and bold as they come. I hope she keeps hidden. They find her. Oh, Katie. Don't do anything stupid. Time's running short. I'm gonna go punch this mountain into space. I think I'll make myself scarce in case any Batarians come back. Good luck, Shepard. Now, we have, you know, found all the bodies, but... Unfortunately, we couldn't turn it in there. I mean, maybe we could have, but I wanted to get some renegade points to be a dick, even though all the renegade options gave me a fucking... Get, ended up giving me just the one. Oh, just the two renegade points. Sadly, disarm explosives. Easy enough.
That should have that should have helped. That should have worked. Thermal armor. Heavy Krug and Predator Brawl, okay. Wait, that's the same armor. It's basically the same armor but different, different design. Well, it even looks the fucking same. Well, not exactly the same, but it's the fucking same. Oh, we can level up. Uh, what should we do? Fault training, that'll do. Uh, we'll keep the throw going. And dampening. Shutting down the torches. I won't ask you again. I mean, she doesn't technically know who's shutting down the, the torches. Find this problem and deal with it. Get out of here. Oh well, easy. Next one is over here. 
Luckily there's a, there's a nice little road on the way there. You know, if he was smart, he would have people turning them on as soon as turning them back on as soon as we leave, just as like a cat and mouse game. And then as soon as it, and besides, like once it reaches, once it gets close enough, gravity will take the uh, will take over, and you won't even need the fusion torches. It's like, oh, he's turning them off. Well, I'll turn them back on again. Fuck you. Only three people here anyway, so God, it's always tally. It's always tally. She always, she's like born to die. Oh shit, a fucking shit, a ride's about to get fucking blown up. It's not good. God, you couldn't even get that last wheel done. Bullshit. Oh well. Open. There we are. There we are.
That side. No, oh, I didn't even get any items for that fight. Over right there. This doesn't have to end in bloodshed. Don't come any closer. We can do this the hard way, or we can end this peacefully. I didn't think you Batarians knew the meaning of the word. Look, I'm just doing my job here. Hijacking this rock wasn't my idea. I signed on to make a little profit. A quick slave grab, nothing more. This isn't just a slave grab anymore. Millions of people are gonna die. Don't you think I know that? I'm just following orders here. If it were up to me, we'd have already left. Maybe you should take your men and go. Before you get hurt. I don't think so. Bollock would skin me alive and sell my hide out of spite. Crazy bastard. This whole mission's gone to hell and I'm gonna pay for it. So why do you listen to him? Good question. I had a bad feeling about this from the moment we landed. Now Balak wants you dead. And what Balak wants, Balak gets. I can't change that. Okay, we actually have enough charm to do the blue option. That's pretty funny. Spoken like a true lackey. You get me out of here and I'll take care of Balak. Or you can take your chances with me. Huh. An interesting proposal. It certainly has benefits over the current situation. Shut it down. This is Balak's problem now. I hope you're as quick with a gun as you are with your promises, for both our sakes. Balak will get what's coming to him, and so will you if I ever catch you in human territory again. Are we clear? Perfectly. Balak's holed up in the main facility. You'll need this to get in. Don't underestimate him. He's a mean bastard. Let's go. We're getting off this rock. Okay, and apparently we get eight power guns for using the <laughs> renegade option. What the fuck? Whatever. Whatever. Burp. Oh, we'll get to go to the final building now. Yeah, it kind of follows the same format as the Geth invasion storyline where uh, we have to do uh, free a number of bases before we can go to the final one. Jesus. Oh, it moves on a track. Look at that. Oh no, I don't move. I need to move.
that makes sense. Yeah, I got sabotaged. Sabotage and it got me anyway. Fuck. Whatever. No, I got noodle shots. I never even. What? Enemies can do that? It was a powerful neural shock, so I got toxin damage and everything. Dampening. Wish there was a way in this game you could like increase up your storm like capabilities. I would like, actually make like the Vanguard a bit more like like so something like a, a unique feature of the Vanguard just being able to storm longer or have quicker cooldown on your uh, stamina. Almost more trouble than you're worth. I'm just getting started. Predictable, but this is over. I'm leaving this asteroid. If you try to stop me, I'll detonate these charges, and your helper and her friends are all going to die. You don't get to leave, Balak. Not after what you've done. What I've done? This is nothing compared to what's been done to the Batarians. We've been forced into exile, forced to survive on what we can scrounge up. It's been like that for decades. Don't make it sound like you're the innocent party here. You brought it upon yourselves. Really? 
You invaded our space, took our resources, and when we asked the Council for aid, they brushed us off. We were left to defend ourselves, but the humans were stronger than us. We knew that. The Council knew that. But it didn't matter. It was you. You and your kind are the only reason we're in this position. How does killing innocent people make up for that? I could ask you the same thing. How many innocent Batarians died at Torfin? Oh, or had you forgotten about that? Torfin was retaliation for your attack of Elysium. You pushed, we pushed back. Enough! You couldn't possibly understand. Actually, you just don't want to understand, and I'm done wasting my breath. Now, if you want your friends to live, I suggest you step aside. I'm not letting a terrorist like you go free. Do what you want with the others, but it'll be the last thing you do. I hope this is worth it! I'm gonna enjoy gutting you. 25 Renegade, and we got our achievement for doing all the stuff. Um, well, hey, we can level up. Uh, you know, motivated by it, why not? But you're no better than us. I gave you a chance to save them, and you threw it away! <laughs> Who's the real terrorist here? <laughs> You'll have to do better than that if you want to stop us. <laughs> One day soon, the human race is gonna pay for what it's done. <laughs> Damn it! Think killing me will make a difference? The Batarians have stayed hidden long enough. We won't be ignored, not anymore. There are thousands more like me waiting their turn, each one willing to die for our cause. Ah! What? What do you want? Details? It doesn't matter. It's too late for you. When the vids flash with images of your colonies in flames, you'll know the Batarian Rebellion has begun. <laughs> Who's your leader? Who's orchestrating all this? I'm through talking. Just kill me. Get it over with. Killing you is too much of a mercy. You can die. Slowly. <coughs> this isn't over! <coughs> this is just the beginning for the Batarian Nation! <coughs> is it safe? You're standing in the open. You haven't been shot. What do you think? I... 
There might have been something I could have done to help. I thought I should be here. I know this asteroid better than anyone. You did it. Another hour and our course would have been irreversible. I ran the numbers, Shepard. X-57 would have struck near the capital city, the most densely populated region. But that's not going to happen, thanks to you. Have you found Katie and her team? Balak murdered Katie and the others. Blew them up with a bomb. All of them? Katie? And her brother? Everyone? How could this happen? I thought you were... Couldn't you save them? You need to understand something. Not everyone out here in the big bad galaxy likes humans. It's not safe. Some days the bad guys are gonna win. You ask me? The good guys made out pretty well today. So this son of a bitch, this Balak, you're letting him bleed to death? I think he deserves a slow death. If anyone asks me, he was dead when I got here. Shepard, thank you for my grandchildren's lives. I don't think I'll stick around, though. Not with the team gone. Too many ghosts. It's time for me to get back and spend some time with my family. Before I go, I'd like to offer you something. Maybe you'll have more use for it than I will. As lead engineer, I get some quality items. Take your pick. You've earned it. Quarry and armor? Nah, quarry and armor. Fuck you. Omni tool? Eh. No thanks. Medium armor. The medium armor sounds like a good bet. I hope you get good use out of it. One more thing. You asked me to look into your missing engineers. Have you found them? Yes, all of them. Their bodies, anyway. Oh. I... I see. Well, then. I guess it's better than not knowing. Take care of yourself. Be well, Shepard. We owe you. Col oh, Colossus. And we leveled up. Okay. Oh, and we got some good stuff. Colossus armor is some of the best armor in the game, and we made a good choice here. This is why we come here. This is why we came here at a higher level, because to guarantee that we get this uh, Colossus armor. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. And it has two mod slots. <laughs> kinetic buffer, and we'll go with. Where is it? We don't have. The smash damage, the smash weave yet, but you know what? We'll go with the. Uh, we'll go with the medical. Interfit, medical interfit, you know? No, we'll go with the. Uh, how the hell is this? Hardening. Yeah, we'll go with hardening. Give us a boost against tech abilities. We did all right for ourselves there. Level forty. Hmm. We got our renegade points up to max. Good shit. Good shit. Still sm the bodies are still smoking. Yeah, they got barbecued. You can't even rec you can't even tell which one of them is uh is the is the woman. Oof. Not good. That one guy hiding in the thing, didn't we? Grenade storage, yeah sure, why not? Fucking do it.
go ahead and leave this place. My home's safe. Just have to focus on that, right? And there we are. Bring down this guy. Done.